I'm a former visa officer, and do you know why your visa was refused? As a former visa officer, I interviewed over 60,000 visa applicants, many of whom had been refused previously by other visa officers. And part of that DS-160 that you fill out when you apply for a visa has the question, have you been refused a visa before? And then there's a box there that asks you to explain the reason. I've read many of those answers, thousands of those answers that visa applicants have written in there explaining why they think that their visa was refused. Since leaving the government and entering uh, the field where I'm helping you, visa applicants, pass their visa interviews, I've also spoken to thousands of visa applicants who have been refused and I've asked them why they think that they've been refused or they tell me why they think they've been refused. Of all of these that I've read while I was serving as a consular officer, doing visas for the US government in embassies and consulates and working as a consultant afterwards, talking to my clients who I'm trying to help get their visas issued afterwards, in all of these, not a single visa applicant. Not a single visa applicant accurately knows why that they've been refused their visa. It's very difficult to know because it's like taking a test, but you don't know what the subject of the test is going to be. You go in for the visa interview and you know that the visa officer is judging you on something, but the visa officer doesn't tell you this is what I'm judging you on. So you go in, you don't know what the test is. You know you're being asked questions, but you don't know what the goal of those questions is. So when the visa officer makes a decision and tells you, no, your visa is refused, well then you're just left to your own devices to try to think of the reason why you might have been refused your visa. A lot of visa applicants will come to me and they think that whatever the final question that the visa officer asked them, that must have been the question that they answered incorrectly. That they messed up with that answer and because that was the final question and then they got the refusal, that was the question they messed up on. That's not true. The visa officer may have gotten bad information from the very first question they asked you. It could have been a combination of multiple factors that led to their decision. In the end, the real decision that the visa officer is making is based on their judgment and their feelings, right? There's no checklist where they're checking off, yes, this is correct, yes, this is correct, and if everything is checked off, they'll issue you your visa. They're relying on their feelings about your intent. And if they feel that you're not intending to use the visa correctly, they're going to refuse your visa. One of the great benefits that I and my team of former visa officers who have worked all over the world, over 25 different countries, speaking over 14 different languages, and having adjudicated over 1 million visas in total, the greatest benefit that we can bring to you as someone who's already been refused your visa is that we can analyze what happened during your visa interview what was in your DS-160, what the information and facts of your application were, and then we can, through our long experience doing this job all around the world for the US government adjudicating visas, we can then infer with great accuracy what the reason for your refusal was. Why is that important? Because that's the first step in changing your strategy and going into a new visa interview and getting a different decision getting an issuance. You can't expect a different result if you do the exact same thing in the next interview. If you've been refused once and you go into the next interview with the exact same strategy, the exact same preparation, the exact same mindset, you're most likely going to get the exact same result. You have to know, you have to have a new strategy and in order to have a new strategy, you need to know why should you change it? What should you change? What was bad about the previous strategy? That's where we can help you. We can see what happened in that previous interview that led to a refusal and what you're going to need to do, have to do, in order to get a different result the next time that you go in for an interview. Identifying what went wrong so that then you can change it and go into the next meeting with a visa officer and effectively convince them that you are a valid visa applicant, that you're going to use your visa well, and that when they decide to click that button to issue you, you your visa, that they're making the right decision. That's how you're going to get your visa issued.